with the economy slowing down, a lot of people want to spend less this year, right? Which means the big family vacation may be on hold for March break. You can still stick around Calgary and have tons of fun. That's where Mike Morrison comes in. Mike from Mike's Bloggity Blog has great staycation options. And the stipulation was, like, how far of a distance are we traveling from well, the city? Well, I, I wanted to make them, like, reasonable. Yeah. You know, to me, Edmonton isn't really a day okay. trip because yeah. that's six hours of sure. driving. That's, sure. and, and so you're not really in Edmonton that long. So I tried to pick, like, less than two hours. I think they're all 90 minutes. I 90 think. minutes. Yeah, around okay. 90 minutes, yeah. Um, yeah, first one, Yamniska Wolf Dog Sanctuary. Yeah. So it used to be... I didn't even know about this. No, this is really cool. It's sort of a newer th attraction, but used to be right by Yamniska Mountain, but now it's just outside a Cochrane and it's in okay. a bigger space. So basically, it's a sanctuary for people who thought they could raise wolf dogs, which are dogs bred with wolves, uh, and realize how difficult it is and have, have left them uh, with the wolf dog sanctuary. And so what's really great is some of these dogs are 90% DNA wolf content. 90? 90. Wow. Um, and so they are, they are wolves. And so you get to go into the enclosure, and it's a giant enclosure. Yeah. And you get to learn all about these dogs. And you get a ton of education about the wolf dogs, as, uh, about wolves as well. Like, yeah. I've been a few times now, and I know that if I was to run into a wolf in, in, in public, uh, in the forest, I would feel safe. Because she teaches you that wolves, fight or flight, will always choose flight. Okay. And they, you see that because you have all this food, and the ones that are more like wolves stay far back. They have no interest. And the ones that are more like the ones that like are dogs. like canine are like all over you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to like throw the food for the one to the wolves yeah, to get it. Interesting. It's, and I mean, if you like taking photos, it's such a great experience. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really great. Family friendly too. It and small groups. I think six or seven in each group. And you said Cochrane, right? Cochrane. And we yeah. all know how close Cochrane Super is. Super close. Uh, we're talking, moving a little bit further out of the city now, to uh, further into the mountains, talking about a Canmore festival. Yeah, yeah. Canmore's uh, winter festival is on right now, um, and uh, like a lot of places in the mountains, they don't have a ton of snow, but they're doing, they're still doing lots of great stuff. So instead of having this snow, oh, look at that. yeah, they used to have the snow down the main street, but now they've just moved uh, moved it to the Nordic Center. Okay. And so this weekend, uh, they they, uh, they had the snow playground set up, but that's also uh, meet and play with the puppies from the Snowy Owl. And I remember you met them yeah, last year. Yeah, I did the sled dog yeah, tour. Yeah, the sled dogs are so, and the, the puppies are so cute, so cute. super fun. And you can go on little sort of family-sized uh, dog sleds. Uh, there's a puppet-making workshop. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of things happening. So even though there's not a ton of snow that they're used to, Winter Carnival is still in full swing. Okay. Uh, next on the list, Vulcan. I love Vulcan. <laughs> I love it. People, I don't know. People tend to make fun of Vulcan, but I think it's a real. It's a perfect to me day trip. So Vulcan. Um, it, uh, it, it, it really has embraced its Star Trek history. No uh, kidding. And so, like, you see, there's every, everything in that town is dedicated to Star Trek. The lawyer's office is named <laughs> after Star Trek. And there's just, uh, like... There's the Spock Days parade, Spock Days right? is yeah. really great. And they've added Vulcan Con, so now they have two events this year. <laughs> um, you know, and they have the Trek Setter Museum. That, that opened last year. And that, this is a guy who's just a big fan film buff. Yeah. So he's opened up his collection to the public and so all the all the items from all the Star Trek films and shows are there. Right he's also collected movie sets from uh, movies filmed here in Alberta. So he has the co Superman 3 costume yeah. which was filmed here in Calgary. Is he has a part of the set from Brokeback Mountain. Um, a, and there's lots of little diners there like a completely reasonably fun really geeky inspired uh, day trip. Uh, speaking of diners, uh, one in Black Diamond that you want to focus on. Yeah, Mars Classic Diner. I mean, Black Diamond, uh, there isn't a ton of Black Diamond, but this to me is worth the drive. Is that Marv? Yeah, it's Marv right there. <laughs> He's there all the time. He's so great. And this is, um, it's a newer restaurant. I think it's only about 10 years old, but it, they, they, you could walk into the 40s when you walk into that place. Cool. It, is, it is just like our grandparents told us about diners. Uh, you know, they have 100 plus kinds of pop. They have malts, uh, burgers. Uh, it's really sort of that rock and roll era jukebox store, fun. and it, it's funny. You just walk in and you're you're instantly transported back. It's real. It's such a great place to visit. Okay, and last but not least, his head smashed in Buffalo Joe. Yeah, if, if some kids want, if you want an educational opportunity while they're on their spring break. I took the family here last summer. Yep. And it blew our minds. It, That's how cool it is. It's yeah. really cool. I mean, it's UNESCO World World Heritage Site. The Interpretive Center is built right into the sandstone, five stories, uh, and so I mean, and this is a 
really huge part of Alberta's history. You know, the indigenous people were using it 6,000 years ago totally. uh, to, to uh, you know, to uh, slaughter, <laughs> well, yeah. slaughter buffalo. It was their source of nourishment, yeah. right? And, the and how herds. they yeah. did it is fascinating. And it's, again, it, this is the longest trip. This is about two hours. So, yeah. But, but I, I, I say you tack in a little trip to Fort McLeod for lunch, totally. uh, which is really great, a really great little small Alberta town, too. But this is, I mean... You think you know what that place is, um, Head Smash to Buffalo Jump, but it's really, really more than that. It's big. Uh, Mike, if people want to find out about you or these types of things that you've been talking about, how do they do that? Yeah, I'm going to have it all on my blog, mikesblogityblog.com. Yeah. Right on. And we have links on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Good to see you, Mike. Thank you, Ted. Great ideas to get the family out and about for uh, March break that's coming up.